This week's Ion MPI brought to you by Digikini Ada Fruit is from Maxim Integrated. What is yeah. this week's Ion MPI Lady okay. Ada? This week's Ion MPI is the Maxim Max 22530, mm -hmm. which is a um, oh sorry. It's a um, analog digital converter to four channel ADC. And it's an isolated ADC that also has like a built-in DC DC converter on chip. Um, as well as five uh, kilovolts isolation voltage. And so it solves a very particular problem, which I've actually seen where you want to measure power or data or you know signal or whatever, or some monitoring in a system that has um, a lot of noise in it, maybe it has motors, or maybe it's floating, or maybe it's, you know, it's, it's, the voltage is, is different than your earth voltage. Um, and in that case, you know, sometimes you'll isolate your entire system, but this allows you just to isolate um, the analog data acquisition part. So uh, it's actually, it's a wide SOIC, um, a, a SOIC 16. And I'll, I'll show you actually, cause this is, this is like uh, rendering that they've got is um, like a narrow one, but um, oh, inside is um, a four channel ADC. And um, a lot of people, you know, when you have a microcontroller, you'll use the ADC in the microcontroller. So for example, um, you've got a um, at Mega 328, or you've got a SAMD 21, or you've got an STM32. Those have built-in ADCs, and um, often those are, are they're fairly good. They're 10-bit ADCs, maybe 12-bit. Um, they can usually run about 100 uh, kilosamples per second. Um, if you are running something like a Raspberry Pi and you need an external ADC, um, you can use something like this, which is an I squared C, or there's also SPI um, ADCs that you know this one gives you four channels input, cost a couple bucks. Um, but uh, like I said, uh, these are not isolated. So you'll see at the bottom of this breakout to the left, it says like VDD, ground, and then SEL, SDA, you know, alert, whatever, A0, A1, A2, A3. Um, you know, sometimes you'll have an A, A ref, you'll have a reference voltage, but that ground is the ground. Like the ground is the signal ground, is the data ground, is the everything ground. There's only one ground line. Whereas if you uh, look at the um, layout for the MAX22, Five three zero. Um, you've got. Um, you see on the right hand side, there's the microcontroller, and there's the SPI port where you can see like you know clock data in, data out, um, and then interrupt and whatever. And then there's the logic circuit, the thing that um, you know con the, the, the logic interface that actually drives the SPI. And then you see that dashed line in the middle. That's the isolator. So there's a, inside there's a galvanic isolator um, that connects between the left side, which is the analog input, and uh, the right side, which is the, the, the data, uh, the digital signal. And on the left side, you can see, you know, you can measure whatever analog uh, circuit you want. And um, the bottom, you know, where you see there's the ground L and the, the ground, sorry, the ground F. So those are two totally separate grounds. And then also the power supplies are, are totally separate. And what I really like about this ADC in particular is, um, at the bottom, you can see it says like micropower DC DC. Um, that's a DC DC converter that's built in. It doesn't give you a ton of current. I think it gives you like, uh, sorry, one second. It gives you, um, you know, three to five volts and it gives you, I think, you know, 10 milliamps or something. It's not like a, a super powerful, um, it's like seven to 10 milliamps. It's not a super powerful uh, DC DC converter, but it's just enough that you can do like the reference voltage and powering the ADC without having to have that a separate supply. So it kind of takes care of a lot of stuff for you. It makes it really easy for you to do um, isolated ADC measurements. Um, for the isolation, it's got 500, uh, sorry, 5,000 volt RMS um, uh, uh, insulation rating. So, uh, you know, you can definitely use this no matter what like medical or industrial purposes you've got. Um, there's four channels, so you can, you know, do four single channel, or you can, of course, do uh, differential if you need. And here's another thing that I thought was really neat. I always like looking at these. I think we covered a industrial DAC um, a few weeks ago or a few months ago. And what I really like is not just like, okay, it's isolated. It's got the DC-DC supply. Um, it's got, uh, uh, you know, uh, 
separate grounds, it's got, you know, whatever. But the SPI itself has um, multiple little details in it that make it um, so that, you know, when you're using it, it's not just SPI data in and um, signal out, you've got like framing errors. So if you have like a, a bit flip in your SPI clock or like a, a glitch, or um, it has CRC data. So when you're reading data, if they're, you know, your, your sample wrong or something, you'll be able to use that CRC data to let you know that in your noisy situation, like your robot or whatever, um, you're still gonna get uh, proper data. Um, there is an eval board available, which I picked up. And actually this chip is in stock, which, which is amazing. Um, and uh, the eval board's kind of nice. It has a FT2232 uh, USB to serial, sorry, USB to SPI converter. Um, so you plug it in, there's Windows software available that you can use to um, uh, you know, read the data and um, set the registers. And like Maxim does a very nice job where they kind of have everything available for you. So if you, you know, what I like about this is it's not like the fanciest sensor. It's not the, you know, the whatever, a new microcontroller with like Wi-Fi, but it does do one thing and it does it really, really well. If you're doing an ADC and um, you need to, you know, measure a motor or an industrial situation or, you know, whatever, something where your, your power supplies can't touch, you don't want to have a signal coming in, um, you know, from your loud, messy robot into your microcontroller, you can just use this and like, it doesn't take any extra effort. You don't have to set up a separate, you know, isolated power supply. It kind of does it all. Um, and a good price too. And here's the best part. It's in stock. So is it can, really? It is. This is what I, like. I have to pick my eye on MPIs in a way that uh, you yeah. can get it. I will say, um, just so you know, the, the photo of this is, is incorrect. It's an SOIC chip, um, right. but it available is in stock. Digi available at DigiKey. Um, and there's a couple other versions that are available too. Like this, I think, is this, the, the, the first one, the 22530. There's also the 22531 and the 22532. Um, and it, those are, oh, hi. Those are very similar. Thank you for, Yeah. we had an exciting camera situation, but now we have a fixed camera. This is the yeah. um, eval board. This is the chip, this is what it looks like. You can see it's a kind of a thick. You'll notice that a lot of isolated chips use um, uh, wide SOICs, and then there's a QR code you can use to download. Yeah. Live while we were on video, the oh, yeah. uh, overhead that we used decided to die, right? I, I held it in my arms and it died. But that's okay, um, nothing's gonna stop us. Yeah, you can see it's just like, no signal, but you can't stop the signal you here. You can't stop at on MPI. So uh, while Lady Ada was showing this, um, I have another thing that I plugged in and it didn't destroy everything. So that is this week's INPI. Pick these up. These Here's a short great. URL and uh, nothing's going to stop us from doing INPI every week. So uh, let me uh, let me get us out of this and I'll, I'll show what happened. Okay. I on MPI.